out of breath in the wild episode 42 i am pretty sure this is quite a nice cheerful song this is by xander and blue wednesday it's um off the new summer release on chillhop.com if you like it go check them out I've, I've been pretty happy with their music service um the last time we left off i did kind of a shorter stream exploring around the hepper mountains and we are hopefully going to finish that region today and maybe get out of there and see some place new because I'd love to meet some characters and do some more story stuff, but not until I finish this exploration. So we're going to wander around. There's a fair sized chunk of the middle of the mountains in the southern regions to look at. And then we will go to the region southwest of where we are after that. So with that said, let's turn this cheerful little song off and get into the game. Alright, let's put our live screen on here. Make sure my audio is looking okay. Um, it looks all right. Hopefully it is. All right, so we're all kitted out in our sneaky clothes and our fiery sword. Let me take a look at the map before we get started here. Um, let's see. I looked at the shelf in this area a little bit last time before it ended. Um, I think what we were going to do is check out this area down here. Go up under this little mountain here and then work our way up because we still need to do Corvash Peak. <clears throat> Heber South Summit, Talanto Peak, Cold Snap Hollow, Heber Peak, the East Summit, and I think Picata Stone Grove. Piquita Stone Grove, I think, still needs to be done. And perhaps part of this tundra area right here. I know we did like this section, and I did part of this section, and I did come up here a little bit but it probably wouldn't hurt to go take a peek at that. So, let me go back down here. Is that... Is that a shrine? Huh, well, we should probably just go do that shrine. I believe it's on the other side of the map that we have. Oh, ooh, and we'll need to make cold potions pretty soon too. I guess warming potion. Let's go do this shrine. If we see it, we might as well. And then we can- what are these blue circles? I never noticed those before. Huh. This must be some kind of challenge. Well, regardless. <laughs> Sha Warvo Shrine. This would be a good way to start the episode off. It is technically off the map, but that's okay, because I think this is the region we're going into next anyways. So let's see what we get. <laughs> hmm, a puzzle maybe? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Sha Rovo. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Path of the Hidden Winds. 
so it's a glider thing? Oops. <laughs> Let's get stamina back. I hear something. Oh no! I think I should switch weapons also because I don't want any of these parts burning up. Let's see what would be good if we're gonna run into guardians. Maybe we could use this 40 sword? Or... Mm, I'm hesitant to use a spear because I don't want to knock them over an edge if they're all gonna be fights like this. So let's... Oops, not that one. Let's use this. I'm glad I turned my headphones up. I've been trying to keep this my headphones a little lower because I think it is creating issues with my audio. And I had it so quiet I could barely hear. But I just heard that. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> just in time. Ah, okay, you can't land on that. You think I invested in stamina? Alright, so we need to land on this thing. This is quite a clever puzzle. Well, I guess it's not much of a puzzle, but a <laughs> challenge, I guess. Alright, is there anyone up here gonna try to knock me down? Hmm, so we can't get high enough to get to that one. Is there another one around? Did I open that chest? <laughs> I can't remember if I did or not. Is it worth going back down? Let me see if I can go over the edge and see it. Yeah, it's open. Hmm, so what do we do? It said hidden winds, hidden winds. <laughs> this won't get us high enough. Oh dear. Um. Do. There's a blocked up wind vent somewhere that we need to explode with a, a bomb arrow or something? That's my guess. Let me take a look around. There's something up there. And I'm not sure how you get up there. Hmm. Seems like there should be another vent somewhere. Maybe this one would get me over there? No, not quite. Hmm. Huh, I feel a little stumped. Looks like there's a ledge over there. But it might not be, it might just be the wall. Hmm, what do I do here? 
I'd be willing to leave the chest, except that... Get up there. Hmm. Wonder if maybe there on the other side of this is another platform? That would be kind of a hidden wind. Like over here maybe? Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yes, there it is! Okay. I can do this. Hopefully, we can do this. Yeah, this should work fine. There we go. And I suppose from this one you probably can get over to that chest, but do I even want to do it? Feeling a little bit lazy. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I see, because I think I've got a pretty full inventory anyways. Yeah, let's leave it. I'm feeling lazy. If it's just a gem or something, there's no reason to go get it anyways. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. <laughs> Hooray! Wow, we're at ten? We really gotta find a goddess statue. May the goddess smile upon you. Hmm, okay, so I'm really glad I spotted that and that we did it because then we have somewhere to teleport in here, which will be nice. This is the area we're going to explore next, most likely. So let's climb back up there. Those mounted book goblins and rock cuties down there. This little house here. I'm really tempted to go meet who's ever, whoever is in it, but I'm not going to because I want to wait for whenever, whether it's this episode or the next one, whenever we actually come into this area. I should have put my climbing clothes on. I'm not sure if it's worth it now. I hear some noise. Oh, it's just the music. Alright, there we go, we're back up. And I can't remember if I climbed these poles, but I think I'm going to, just in case there's a cork on top of them, one of them. It doesn't look like there's one up here. I still, from playing Super Mario 64, expect the top of a pole, you go flip upside down and then flip off backwards. Ooh. Oh, yikes. I'm not being very careful. Alright, I don't want to climb that one either, too. What is this little music? Is it this area? It's light range. Yeah, it is. It just got louder. Well, it's very beautiful, but we don't want to go there yet. I need to go up some more. Uh, let's put climbing clothes on, why not? It takes so long. Very eager to get out of a snowy era area. So much so, in fact, that if we go into the area I intend to go into and the whole thing is snowy, I may choose a different area to explore first. I'm so tired of running so slowly. <laughs> Alright, 
this is what I wanted to look at, I think. Right up here. Oh, look who's over there. I do not want to fight that guy at all. And I'm not going to. I'm also probably not going to mark it on the map because I hate fighting the elemental ones. I'm running out of stamps, so I'd much rather mark the ones, the regular ones that are easier to fight. And even though I love rocks, I actually don't think the stone talus fights are that great. We get gems out of them, which are good. We can use those for money. And like I frequently say, money's fine, that's good, but... It's not like... Mm, how do I want to say it? It's not... In my opinion, it is not as satisfying a fight as like... The Hinoxes or the Stalnoxes, the bigger those other big monsters. They're like a little scarier, a little tougher. And the Talus fights, if the stone is on the top of the Talus, they're kind of easy. And if it's on the bottom, the lower back area of the Talus, they're just frustrating to me because. It's very, like, you can't hit it from just standing underneath it. And if you try to hit it from the top of the thing, you slide down its back, and all in all, it just, it's not a very satisfying fight for me. If we're gonna do a monster fight, I'd much rather do a Hinox or a Stalnox or something like that. Yeah, yeah you found me! Goodbye. I think I needed 40 some seeds to do another weapon slot, so that's good. All right, let's take a quick look at the map. Uh, we should explore. I'm thinking maybe we'll go down to Korvash Peak next. So we'll go up here. We'll go to the east and check this out so we can kind of mark it off the map along with this area. So I think this might be... This up here might be the ledge we need to walk along. I really think we will need to make more cold resistance potions before we complete this area. Which is a shame because I will struggle to think of how many to make and I don't want to end up with a full inventory of stuff I don't need for the next area. But I also don't want to run out. Let's see if we can go all the way up here. A lot of dragonflies. Ugh, so slow. Um, maybe this is higher up than I needed to be. No, it's not too bad. Oh, I'll take this chill, chill shroom. Chill shroom? Hmm. <laughs> it's an interesting accent that came out of me. Let's take a look here. Let's see, a uh, old guy down there. This is where we actually want to be. So, I see another shrine over there. I'm kind of out in the open. The next divine beast. They keep a curtain behind me when I record because I'm trying to decrease echoing. I have tile floors in my house. And. I was trying to move it the other day, and I knocked it down, <laughs> so I put it back up, but I accidentally- Ooh, 300 rupees! That's a large prize! I accidentally put it a little bit too close to the chair, so now the back of my head is like just slightly brushing the curtain, driving me crazy. I have to move- 
silly me. Alright, we're gonna run into a fight pretty soon up here. We're also gonna run out of cold resistance in a few seconds, so maybe we should get a potion. How many do we have left? Just three? Ooh. We have 13 minutes, 18 minutes, and 18 minutes. That's pretty long. So that's good, at least. Wish we could run faster, though. Hmm. I thought I saw some monsters to fight over here. Maybe they were lower down. It's <laughs> a rhino, an ice chunk. Well, don't run into me. I'm trying to avoid you. Should we put our ice or uh, fire sword back on? Oh, there's that. We have another one. I just found out I could do this last stream, but it's still so slow. This area is for patient people, I think. I'm not sure if anything's gonna come out of this one. Nope. Alright, that's fine. What about this one? Do I want to wait long enough for it to happen? I think I'll just meet. And that's fine. Meat is useful, but oh, hello! What's going wrong here? Oh, silver rupee, huh? Not bad. I'm still not sure a hundred rupees. Uh, what? A hundred rupees is worth the amount of time you have to stand there. Hundred rupees is what, like a gem? You gem? the seed. Alright, so that's Korvash Peak. A little fight up here we could do. It's probably good to gather the mm, frozen Lizalfos tails. I don't know how many opportunities we'll have to get them. And... I think they will prove useful in the warm areas. Where is that thing? There we go. Oh, thank you, Mifa. I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. So glad you get multiple charges on the... Daruk's... protection. Oh, somebody's left.
Worthwhile to take that club. Choo choo jelly. A bow. And. Ooh, fire arrows. Yes, please. Let's see. Do we want the club? Uh, nah. I might keep what I've got on me. Probably should eat a little something. I think that Lizalfus came down. Nope, nope, it didn't. Oh wow, I smashed it with a tree. Hm. That works. Spear could be useful. Uh, is that it for gems? I think so. Should we climb this one? Whoa, look at that. Should we take a picture of this? I think I already did. It's a pretty good place to get it, though. Maybe not. <laughs> Link. Cracks me up. Any Koroks up here? Can't see. I don't think there will be. Nope, just some snow. Alright, can I see where I want to go next? Hello, Fleur, how are you doing today? That's about it. I'm doing okay. Was waiting for a very long upload to YouTube, but it failed, and I was gonna be really irritated about it, but then I was like, eh, it's okay. I'll, I'll take it as a good thing so I can do a stream instead. I got some mangoes I'm gonna cut up later, and I got a big cup of tea right now, and everything's pretty good. Ready to get out of this snow area. How's your Stardew Valley game going? Oh, look at this pink and purple wolf. Maybe we should blow this tree up. It's not with a camera, though. Haven't played Stardew Valley in a while. I'm playing. All these wind wind streams. Hello. <laughs> well, I think I'll buy Stardew Valley eventually, but maybe not this year because I am so consumed with Zelda. I don't know if I have the attention span for more than one game at a time. But I really do want to play it. Like, even though I watched someone else play through it, most of the game, I didn't see all of the new stuff yet. I still kind of want to play it myself and see, like, how would I do it? And how would I lay my farm out? And who would I choose to marry, if anyone? Which 
which is pretty cool game design because typically if you see a linear game or for me anyways i guess i shouldn't speak for everyone if i see a linear game like that where there's only one storyline if i watched a playthrough i probably wouldn't really want to play it but i think with the farming aspect and the the different variations of and secrets and things i do still really want to try it frozen I didn't! Oh, 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 I gotta eat. Have you been playing something else instead? Uh, let's eat this one. Uh, more Breath of the Wild lately? <laughs> It's hard to put down, that's for sure. How far are you in your game? Are you farther than I am? I can't remember if you said you'd already played it before or not. You already played it before. It's so cool to me how many people come in these, like most of the people who come watch my streams, have already played the game and are still playing the game, which is awesome to hear as someone who's going through it because typically for games like this, I would not think that they would have replay value other than for nostalgic reasons, just because, I don't know, like I played Super Mario 64 back in the day and I do want to play it again because I loved it, but I already know what happens. <laughs> this game is amazing. That seems to be the consensus. I haven't heard anybody say they didn't like it. Yep. It's definitely giving Wind Waker as a, a run for its money as my favorite Zelda game. I uh, said even after you complete the main story, there's still so much to explore. Yeah, I, def I can definitely see that because I thought I was doing a really thorough job exploring and then I would go back to an area and find tons of new stuff that I hadn't seen before. Uh oh. Oh man, that looks really beautiful. Can it reach? Nope. I missed. There we go. Is this just your second playthrough? Rock cuties. Nope. <laughs> I kind of wish I could focus on more than one game at a time because I do have some other stuff I would like to play, but all I can think about is <laughs> anytime I have free time, I'm like, gotta go play some more Zelda. Uh, you've played the game through once, and then you kept starting over and over without actually finishing it? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Wow, he, that guy hits hard! Tumbling too fast. Yeah, right? It's so much damage. I actually have enough um, spirit orbs to. Wait, there's still one going? I don't know where there's another head. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have enough spirit orbs to do two, two more upgrades. But I haven't seen a goddess statue anywhere around here. Let's eat some of this small food to get it out of the inventory. Except not this stuff, because I do not want to get rid of my cold resistance. We'll go with that. I'm sure I'll get hit again and need some more. Something else I would like to replay is Kingdom Hearts. I only beat one of them. I don't even think I played all of them before. My weapon's done. Speaking of lots of hearts. I saw someone on YouTube replaying it, and I was like, Ah, oh, I have such fond memories of that game. It was so fun. 
You've never played Kingdom Hearts? Is it nice? Yes, it's so nice. I've never really played any Final Fantasies, but I think it's like Final Fantasy Lite, from what I've heard from other people who do play Final Fantasy. And they do such a clever way of integrating all the Disney stuff into it, and like the combat is pretty easy, and it, it's I would say it's similar to this game, and that it's simple enough for a child to play, but it's engaging enough to enjoy as an adult. I love that game. I can't remember which one I played. It was for PlayStation 2, maybe? Nah, couldn't have been. Could it? I don't know. It was a long time ago. But I loved it. I don't think I have it anymore. I would highly recommend it. If you like this game, I think you'll probably like Kingdom Hearts. It's not so open world, but I really enjoyed exploring around in the game. I want to say I played two or three, maybe? And I'm not sure why I would have done it that way. I am the type of person who I usually start with number one, but maybe one of my friends got me into it or something. Or maybe it was a gift? I don't know. It's a shooting star. I've never been able to get to one. I almost got a shooting star in this game one time, and then I very nearly got to the top of the mountain where it was. And it disappeared. Yeah, check it out. Let me know if you do, if you, how, if you like it. I would think it would probably be pretty cheap to buy by now. It's quite an old game. I don't know if they've come out with any new ones or not. Hmm, what's up here? This is really pathy, so I expect to see something up here. Really? There's like a ribbon tied around the tree? Is it on PC or console? Uh, I played it on some PlayStation. I want to say it's like PS... I really wanted... I really think it was PS2. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it on console or not. This tree. Stay on it. <laughs> if I can get on the tree. Mm. I don't know. Let's blow the tree up. There goes the moon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on. Mm, I'm not seeing anything. Sometimes if you explode a lone tree, it will do something. But it seems weird they would lead me here with nothing. Yep. Yeah, I thought a cork, a cork would be up here too. Yep. Or something. Like with the little ribbon tied around it? I don't know. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a mm, shrine around here somewhere, like hidden in the rocks. Seems, so, or maybe there's like a a dragon flies near here or something. Seems kind of weird to have just one tree. Seems like Zelda code for hey, go up there and and look at this secret thing. Hmm... I don't know. I am near Rito Village, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's down here. I saw windmills, so I automatically assumed I was getting close to the Rito. Hey, I'm doing pretty good on my exploration, though. Eh, let's just keep going. I don't see anything. 
You think you know what it is? Okay, thank you for not telling me. I really appreciate how cool you guys are about spoilers. That's awesome. What are you doing? Okay, goodbye. Oh, it's morning. <laughs> like, that guy just doesn't want any of my nonsense. Gonna bury himself in the snow. Alright, let's go... I think this way. You don't like spoilers over? Since it's my first playthrough? Yeah, I appreciate it. Everybody's been so flippin' cool on stream. It's really nice. It's one of my new favorite hobbies. Everybody's so friendly and gives me faith in the internet. Sword? My inventory's full. I might switch something out for that. It's one of my favorite weapons. Let me see. Do I have the DLC? I don't. Um, my plan was to finish this one and then get the DLC, and then hopefully by the time I would finish the DLC, the second one would be out. Maybe... The only thing I would want to switch is maybe this. I think the Royal Broadsword's a little bit worse. But that's okay. Did you get the DLC? Sorry, Link. You got the DLC? About how many hours of extra game do you think the DLC gave you? Let's go into Cold Snap Hollow. Oops! <laughs> I did that to myself. Oh. Oh my gosh, I better eat, I'm gonna die. Uh, it depends on how fast you go through it, but it gives you a big amount of content to play with. That's awesome. I generally think DLC is kind of a scam, but most of the people who've talked about it on my streams, it seems like it's actually worth it to buy this one. Uh, one part of the DLC you never finished because it was a little too hard for you? <laughs> my brother said he didn't finish the main game because something in it was too hard, and I'm not sure <laughs> Be unless he got a lot farther than I did, because it's only been one part of the game I gave up on so far. I I think it's a good amount of challenging, but I don't think it's like too. There was one shrine in the Goron area where it had a like light blue fire. To what is this? Blue fire torches, and I could not figure out how to do it. Over 10 hours of DLC content? That's not bad for- I think it's like 20 bucks, right? This sure seems like something bad's gonna pop up and destroy me. You think there are two DLC packs? It's worth buying. Do you think it's a mistake to buy it after I finish the game? Somebody came on stream and said I should buy it before I finish the game. Oh my gosh, I feel like I run even slower on this snow than the other stuff. Is this where I was trying to go? I think so. Let's look up here first before we drop in there, though. 
Is there anything else up here? Maybe I should melt that big block of ice? That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, you bought it after you finished it, game, and you have no regrets. Okay, thank you for your opinion on that. I really appreciate it. Because it's kind of... I'm so afraid to look anything up because I don't want any spoilers and it's hard to make a good decision like that. Did I use my last fire sword? I did. I got this thing. Um... I might need to start a fire. Oh, careful. Please don't destroy me. The roof protection is now Let me start a fire. Thank you, Daruk. Ready to roll. Maybe there's gonna be a monster frozen in there? <laughs> Let's see. I get a drink of my tea. Mm. You said if you completed the game, it really has some funny things for you to do, which can get that hype again. That'll be good, because I definitely see that after you f I mean, I don't know about this game, but after I finish a game, it's hard to get back into the- Look at this! It is a monster! <laughs> it's a frozen moblin, hey buddy! Sorry, I saved you just to destroy you. Be a little Zelda nerdy to get everything to let your heart- Oh, <laughs> That's sweet! Me too. <laughs> Honestly, love it. Um, what if we drop this? Take this. Light it back on fire. Try to get this one burnt up. That went better. Have you played all the Zelda games? I serious. <laughs> That's a boomerang I threw. <laughs> They're such good games. roll down the hill, so I'm just gonna leave that dude alone. Uh, you haven't played that many Zelda games, never had the right consoles to play them? I feel that. I haven't been able to get every Nintendo console. Maybe it's the stuff in the center. We've seen a lot of people play the different games. You just really like the story about Hyrule. Me too. It's such an. It's just. Oh, it's so good. I love the whole sense of expor exploration you get in all of the games, and particularly this one is really good about that. Let's do a fire arrow. Let's make it go faster? Yes. Okay. <laughs> These things are so slow. Uh, can I hold the bow with the fire arrow right standing? Oh, let me try.
If so, that would save durability. Yeah, it looks like it does. Good idea. Not sure if this one's gonna give anything. Doesn't really look like it. Oh wait, it did! Yeah, haha, yeah, you found me, buddy! You're made of leaves, don't hide in ice! That's a great idea, thank you. Huh? Corks are so sweet. They're so cute. I love their design. Alright, let's go see what's down here. I expect a monster. Oh, it's another frozen talus, isn't it? I don't really want to fight it. I feel like it's kind of boring of me, but the <laughs> elemental ones are not that much fun for me. Is there anything else over here? Here, but let's try your, your trick again on this one without lighting a fire and see how it goes. Let's do sword again. Got your cloak! Sleeping fox? Let's try not to disturb it. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. No one's over here. You're so cute. Alright, let's see. Is it working? I'm not sure if it is. Maybe it only works on the smaller ones, like once they're at a certain level. Is it melting? I can't tell. I don't think it is working. That works very well though, wow! No, I don't think it did work. Yeah, I agree, it probably would be too convenient. Can you blow them up with bombs if they're small? No, I feel like that should work. If you found a block of ice and it wasn't too big and you put a bomb beside it, I'm pretty sure it would explode. Yep. Um... Yeah, let's use this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This one I think will work though if you stand next to it. Which isn't too bad, because I don't think this is used I don't think it eases up the durability even if you hold it in your hand. Oh look another one. Yeah, yeah hi, you found me. <laughs> bye, bye I was about to give up on melting all ice blocks until they put a Korok in there. Alright, we could go just to prove to myself it, I'm sure it is one, but we could aggro it and then leave. Hello? <laughs> I don't want you. Just go back to sleep. Frost Talus. Yeah, I just <laughs> don't like these guys. I found a f um, 
one of the, f I can't remember what they're called, but like, uh, they are too strong. That I just don't like fighting the elemental ones. They, I found a lava one in the Goron region where there was a cliff really near to it and you could just stand up there and throw things at it until it died. And that one was a bit of a boring fight, but I didn't, I did it. Cause I'm like, eh, I could do this. Uh, do you think Gorons will hunt on Talos and eat them up? Maybe everything except for the gem. <laughs> They've been pretty insistent that gems are disgusting, and they only like the rocks. Which is pretty funny lore. I love the Gorons so much. So we just need a Goron traveling companion, and then they can take care of it, and they'll be like, Mmm, popsicles! Delicious! And then we can go get the gems afterwards. Have I ever played Twilight Princess? I did! That was the last Zelda game I played before this one. I don't remember a lot of the details about it, but I know that I enjoyed it, and I really liked the wolf part of it. And when I started playing this one, I was horrified that they wanted me to fight a wolf after everything we had just gone through. <laughs> did you play that one? You know what, let me put my climbing clothes on. Uh, the difference between the Gorons and Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild is so funny. I don't really remember them in Twilight Princess. Which is crazy, because I don't think it's been that long since I played the game, but... I don't have very clear memories of it. And if I didn't like the game, that would be understandable, but I like- I remember liking it a lot. I just don't- I don't really remember much about the plot or anything, except, like... There was something cool about wolves, and I thought Midna was cool, and there was some, like, anime villain with a diamond motif. You had to wrestle the Gorons? <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have to wrestle any in this game. They seem like they'd be down to wrestle. Or at least, like, a, a rolling competition or something. They seem playful. If I had to live, oh, I'm not gonna blow up that wolf. If I had to live with any of the societies in the Zelda games, I would probably pick the Gorons. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Let's go. Did I go over here already? I can't remember. I think I did. Let's see, I went over here, came up here, I was like, I think I was over here, and I was like, jump in there, you played Twilight Princess when you were younger, but you never had to finish it because you didn't really understand English. Are you gonna finish it finally? Are you gonna stream it? You can go up. I thought I might like to get my... Since I got this Elgato, that maybe I could get my GameCube that I still have and see if I can hook it up to my computer and play some of those old, like, Wind Waker again and see if I'm still totally in love with it like before. Oh, you got me. Ooh, that guy hits hard. Let's eat something again. And I think I had... Twilight Princess was for the Wii, right? Maybe we'll leave a Moblin Club and take that. Uh, maybe you'd stream it, but you're eager to finish it on your own because you can have game sessions of like six hours. You don't think you could. Yeah, I... There are definitely... There's definitely a difference. Like, I feel like it, it uses... Not, in a, not that it's bad or anything, but it does use like more and a different kind of energy to keep up a stream and keep talking and not just sit there in silence. If you're gaming on your own, you could just get like a big coffee and a snack and go sit there and just play until you're too tired to continue. <laughs> What's that? It looks like a dog. It looks like a Dalmatian. Oh, hello. <laughs> you're not a Dalmatian at all. I 
I think the longest stream I did was close to five hours and I was so beat after it. I don't know how people get on here and do this, like 24 hour streams, they're crazy. They do make cute sounds. They always sound so scared though, it makes me sad. I want to tame one and take it with me. I don't know how they stream that long. I just don't... Maybe I could do it, but I don't think I could be entertaining for a solid 24 hours. Yeah, hi, you found me! Bye-bye! And like, doesn't their voice start to hurt? Because even after... Oh look, what I found! Even after like two hours stream, my voice starts to get croaky and sound bad. Oh, there's another house down there! Good, I've been hoping to meet some. Alright, let's try to melt these now that I know there are Koroks inside of some of them. I'm guessing there's probably a monster in this one. Kinda looks like there's a moose in there. No, it's a Lizalfos. I didn't notice before that you could kind of see what was in there, that's cool. Can you with these too? Nah. Your voice gets really crunchy when you stream too long. Me too. I sound like... I don't know. I sound like I have uh, bronchitis or some terrible disease. There have definitely been times I've been playing this, like, I totally relate to what you're saying about playing something on your own because of that. Because there have been times I'm playing this where, like, I want to keep playing the game, but I know I have to stop because my voice sounds so bad. Like, if I want to do this again within the next two days, I have to stop. We get... Shock arrows. Nice, nice, nice. Can you put this out and pick it up? It doesn't matter, we have plenty of wood. Have you been streaming for long? I can't remember- I can't remember if I asked you before, I'm sorry. I have a terrible memory. I think I've been doing it for... Mm, maybe a year? started around last year in November. What got you started doing it? I would never have started on my own except my friend was streaming our Minecraft games. And then I was like, well, if I'm gonna be online anyways, I might as well do it myself. Uh oh, here comes a blood moon. I wonder if the Lizalfus and the ice will regenerate. I'll read your message in just a second. I got distracted. <laughs> um, uh oh. Poor cold link. Oh no, this is my last potion. Well, it's good there's this house here, so hopefully there will be a cooking pot and I can make some more. Um, let's see. You said you streamed a little before that, but that was really bad quality. You had no idea what you're doing, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I think mine are still pretty bad quality, but I don't care because I really enjoy it. It's great. I have a really hard time figuring out my audio because when I record, I use Streamlabs, and when I record, like, a sample. Oh, thank you! I'm just being myself for the most part, but I'm in like in terms of my my audio quality and stuff It's not so great But when I record like a sample, I did come back. Hey, welcome back <laughs> When I record a sample audio I'll go, Say like 
Hello, and welcome back to your, you know, like, whatever I say in the beginning. Sample of it, and then I'll say, like, some kind of tongue twister with some plosives in it. And a lot of S sounds, because I know I'm kind of um, whistly when I say my S's. And I'll say, these three thick theologians think that these things... <laughs> And stuff like that. So anyways, when I take when I take a recording and then I play it back through VLC on my computer, it sounds great. It sounds fine. It sounds like I have a much better mic than I actually do. But then when I listen to the streams themselves off of Twitch, it sounds so tinny and I'm not really sure. I don't know enough about audio to fix it, but I wish I could. It's not so bad. I mean, it's not definitely improving as I continue to stream and figure out more what I'm doing. Yeah, it's really strange because it's like the same headphones and everything. Uh, I stream with Streamlabs OBS. I tried to use regular OBS. Um, me and my friends were trying to play D&D. And I was trying to record the episodes. And I used regular OBS, but I found it a little less user-friendly than Streamlabs. And Streamlabs integrates so well with Twitch. Do you use regular OBS or Streamlabs? Do I record my sample with Streamlabs? Yeah, I do. Yeah, there's like a little record button at the bottom of Streamlabs. Sell me spots. And so I'll press record and then listen back to it and it sounds nice. But then on the, the uh, stream it sounds totally different. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Use Stream Elements OBS, but you're eager to stretch towards Stream Labs? I've never heard of Stream Elements. Hello! Look at this charming cabin. Look at all her shields. Is she a murderer and she collects all the shields of her victims? <gasps> Maybe we should leave. <laughs> I'm sure she's not a murderer. Look at this shield. I've never seen one like that before. Selmy collects the trophies from all of her victims. She's probably a shield surfer. I'm making her out to be a scary serial killer. With a, she's got a pretty face and she lures people in. Because she's the only cabin on the mountain. And she'll offer you a place to cook your food and lay your head. And then in the middle of the night, she'll slice up your bones and steal your shield. Woo! <laughs> it's on me. Please don't steal my bones. Yeah. Huh. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Population us. Hey, wait a sec. You know, all this way to me, the best there ever was at shield serving and murdering, right? Ah. Knew it. Too bad for you that I'm retired, huh? It has been years since anyone knew me as the Duchess of Downhill. But if she looks so young, but if you don't mind a few pointers from my husband, I'd be happy to critique your technique. Sure, <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> uh, stream elements is almost the same as Streamlabs. Is there any particular reason why you haven't switched? If you want to do the other one. Such enthusiasm! I haven't seen anyone with passion like that since, well, me! But I'm not just any surfer come lately, I was the best. And that means my advice isn't free. How does, hmm, is 20 rupees a session okay with you? Uh-huh. It's my choice. I always say, if you're not willing to put your money where your mouth is, how serious are you really? Then let's get straight to the slopes. Follow me. Don't murder me! Do you need a rundown on how this works? I do. <laughs> I messed it up last time. Wow, you seem serious about this. Not very simple life, but okay. I'll boil it down for you. Shield surfing is all about how fast you can make it to the bottom of the hill. Quick check. You do know how to surf, right? Just hold out your shield and then hop onto it mid-jump. For this course, I don't care if you stay on your shield or not. You can go so fast that you start to fly for all I care. What I suggest is start simple with a basic course so we can take a look at your downhill fundamentals. <laughs> Straight down from here, you'll see a big bridge. Why don't you start by surfing your way down there? 
<laughs> it's a pretty no frills course, but it'll help me get a beat on where you're at with your technique. If I dig the way you surf, I'll let you advance to the next step, but we can go down that hill when we get to it. <laughs> oh. I wanna see you shred out there. You ready? On your mark. Oh dear. Hey, this is going better than it usually does. I think she said. Oh, that's what this is. Yay! And I'll wait right here for you to come back. Oh, I'm so glad it teleports me. I probably should give her a surfer voice instead. Like, you clocked in at 101.64. Don't take this the wrong way, but you have some serious practicing to do. But... Why lean into stereotypes? She can have a nice soft butter voice. You clocked in it. 101, 64. Don't take this the wrong way, but you have some serious practicing to do. You can't move on to the trickiest slopes until you've learned to keep your mind on what's in front of you now. Well, it seems like a smooth stretch can be bumpier than it looks. So, wanna hit the slope again? It'll be another 20 rupees for the course fee. Let's try it again. Ah. I wanna see you shred out there. You ready? On your mark. <laughs> Maybe I could do better this time. I don't take a break to get wrecked by a moose. still going the right way. something last time Oi! and uh, I'll be ready for you to come back up let's do it again I think I failed worse that time <sighs> don't take this the wrong way but you have some serious practicing to do yeah that's true yeah let's do it oh. I want to see you shred out there you ready on your mark <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe press it. It's going a little better though. Get hit by any moose this time, so that's good. Oh, this is much better. Under a minute. right here for you to come back up. Mm -hmm. 
you clocked in at 51 seconds and 8. <laughs> 51.8. Pretty average time, all told. I'm not too keen on letting you move on, but... Well, I'll make it your call. You comfy where you are, or do you want to push ahead anyway? Uh... I want to go ahead. Which one of those does it mean? Do your worst or take... What does she say? I'll make it your call. Am I comfy where I am, or do I want to push ahead anyway? Mm. I'm not sure what the correct answer is to get <laughs> the outcome I desire. I want her. I want to go to the next level. But does that mean do your worst, or I'll just take it easy? If I say do your worst, she's gonna make me get a better time on this one. If I say I'll just take it easy, she'll let me move ahead. Uh <laughs> good. Knowing your limits is important when. Oh, I see. When it comes to a hobby that involves screaming down the side of a mountain. You know, you got a good head on your shoulders. Let's keep it there. So you want to hit the slope again? It'll be another 20 rupees for the course fee. Ah. I want to see you shred out there. You ready? On your mark? Oh, I picked the wrong option. All right, so we got to try to <laughs> lease that well again. I think I figure out how to speed up. Just want to get there get under the time she requires. If she'll let us go to the next level. I'll try Hi. pushing some buttons. And time. You clocked in at 49.53. Pretty average time also. I'm not too keen on letting you move on, but... Well, I'll make it your call. You comfy where you are, or do you want to push ahead anyway? Do your worst. Hmm. Let's put the test aside for now and just ask you straight out. What does shield surfing really mean to you? <laughs> Shrug is the truth, but this is what she wants to hear. Uh... Shield surfing. Life? It's your whole life? That's your answer? Slipping, crashing, and falling over cliffs is no kind of a lie for anybody. Trust me, I know. If that's how you see things, you're in no shape to advance yet. Ugh, sorry, but I'll have to ask you to do the basic course again. Come on, Sami. Oh. I would say the wrong thing to this woman. Alright. Her pressing A. <laughs> hmm. Don't want to do any better this time, maybe even worse. Try to give your cat her medicine? I don't envy you. My last cat was diabetic, and giving a cat medicine is no easy feat. Mm -hmm. You clocked in at 5134. Pretty average time, all told. I'm not too keen on letting you move on, but... Well, I'll make it your call. Do your worst. Hmm, let's put the test aside for now, and just ask you straight out. What does shield surfing really mean to you? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you pulling my leg? Though, these days, I'll probably answer the same way. Shield surfing is how we express a passion that we can't put into words. Surfing... Surfing is its own meaning. Funny. 
I started out thinking I'd teach you a few tricks, but I ended up learning something pretty important. <laughs> I think you'll be just fine on the advanced course, but don't make me regret that decision, okay? <laughs> so, wanna hit the slope one more time? Yeah, sure. Let's see just how far your practice has gotten you. Once you clear the advanced course, you can earn special shields. Oh, hey, for beating certain times. How's that for incentive? Except, it looks like you have all the shields you can carry. Ditch one, or I can give you your proper reward. Uh, giving cats medicine is a real pain, but this medicine is liquid. So you put it in some milk, and she goes crazy over that? That's good. You must be cold. I'll see you back to, to the cabin. You can warm up a bit there before you go. What? No, I wanted to surf. Ugh, sell me. Well... Ah. She wants me to beat my record. I'm gonna use her cooking pot to make some... heating peat potions. My dog doesn't really have to take any medicines right now. I don't have cats anymore right now. Um, I have a dog and... She has allergies, is the only thing with her, so I have to give her some Benadryl sometimes. Um, and I just tricked her because I would be like, you want a T-R-E-A-T? In like a really excited voice, and now she just, she doesn't even care. She just wants it. She thinks she's getting something good. Uh, you're gonna go because you're really tired and need some sleep. Okay, I hope you have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice to chat with you. Actually, I think that Fire Lizalfa's tail was the best thing I found for this. I've got nine left. So, I think... Thank you! <laughs> it's Zelda. I'm sure I will enjoy it. I can't imagine how I would... <laughs> Oops. Alright, so we're gonna get some more... Potions. I don't want to make too many because I think we're almost done with this area. So maybe like two? Let me look at the map. I think the only thing I have left to do is this Piquita Stone Grove. And maybe a little bit of this Hebra Tundra over here because we already did this part of it. Um, and maybe this area right here. So, sell me spot. Should we mark that on the map? Like with a shield? Maybe not there. Maybe like <laughs> just above it. There. And then we can come back and do some shield surfing later. So I think two 18 minute potions should be enough to get us through. Thanks for not stealing my bones, sell me. See you later. I'll be back for those shields, but not right now. Um, I'm glad it doesn't seem to use your durability when you're doing that, though. Like, regular shield surfing does. Maybe it does, but it doesn't seem like it. Alright, so let's take a look around here. Around Salmi's house. <laughs> and we'll head down this way and check this out. And then we will come back and go up here and look at this area. And then I think we can leave this area, which we're at an hour and 24 minutes in our stream. So I don't know if we'll be able to get out of here this stream or not. Like to another area, I mean. But we'll give it a good effort. I'm still feeling pretty fresh. I can keep going for a little while. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Down here, where I want to look. I guess I could try shield surfing. Just a moose. I just don't really see much around here. It's so barren. Am I still going the right way? This way. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Let's climb up there and look at that pinwheel, I think, because 
I've already gotten then if I've already gotten it then I don't think we need to go up here any further south we can just go back the other way mm, it doesn't look like we have so we'll explore the rest of it in that case all right here we go Oops! Oh no! <laughs> Can't stay up there. Alright, let me switch it back to normal arrows. Oops. Yeah, that one. I think I hear it over here. Oh, I missed. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, you found me! Bye bye! Goodbye! Alright, and I want to go this way. Oh, there's a fight down there. We can do that. Let's get them. <laughs> Alright, here we go. They could see me from up here. I don't really want to go down there. Look at all those guys. It's so many of them. My bombs are barely doing any damage anymore. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Should we try out maybe like a mm, about an electric sphere? Would they be susceptible to this? Eh, it doesn't do much. Probably better for... ...watery areas. What about a bomb arrow? Hmm, uh, that will seem more effective. And then let's put a new bow. Maybe... Not the ancient bow, for sure. Let's use up uh, these 36 level bows. Wait, did I not equip it? <laughs> smart of them to disperse. Not so smart of them to gather again. All right, let's go fight now. Hey! Kind of a cowardly way to go about that, but we did it. All right, let's grab all this stuff. Broadsword. Another shield, I think. Can we carry another one? No. See what we get. Oops, come on. Get up there. Another gold rupee. Not bad. Alright, let's grab this stuff too. Uh oh. Time for another potion. Alright. Uh and then is that it for this area? It looks like there's more to it. Oh, it's at a lower elevation. All right, let's go down. Is this it? Let's get this one melted in case it's a Korok. Yep, this is it. This is the area. Okay. Uh, where's the fire thing? Get a sip of my tea while we wait for this and hope it's not an enemy. My goodness, I'm ready to get out of the snow.
I have a feeling this place, this area of the map is not going to be... Whoa, a whole turkey? A frozen whole bird. This raw whole bird may have been frozen solid, but its flavor remains intact. Eating it will provide a temporary boost to your heat resistance. All right. And let's switch back to a sword because I don't want to... I do not want to break that meteor rod while I'm over here. I can break the gems. Hmm. I guess we could go over there and get those ones. I don't know if I really want to, though. Uh, just three? I might leave them. Let's look up here, though. Alright, uh, and then we'll look right down here, I guess? Just to make sure there's nothing special. This looks like the kind of snow you would just sink into. Uh, I don't see much. Alright, let's head back up then. And we'll head back the other way. I wish there were something to teleport to over here. I'm so surprised. I feel like I must have probably missed some shrines, unless it is to make the mountains more dangerous and difficult to traverse, because it just seems like there should be- wasn't there one up here by her house, actually? I'm almost positive there was. Let's go get that. I think there was one under a snowdrift, but it was pretty well hid hidden. And then when I teleported back to her house, I couldn't see it anymore. I'm almost positive of it. I am going the right way, right? Yeah. Because I think we definitely need some way to teleport around this area, or I'm never going to want to come back once we leave. All the slow running in the snow and everything? Forget about it. some gems. Maybe we should get them. Yep. Alright, here's our Korok buddy. And I think her house is up there. No, up here? Yeah. Alright, let's try to get back to her. And find that shrine. There might be a Korok up here. Alright, I think it's right up there. See this little, like, overhang? If I'm not mistaken. I can't believe I forgot about it while I was up here. I just like, came out of her house and ran away. <laughs> Alright, let's look behind it. Shadana Shrine. I'm 
just in case there are corks hiding back here. I wonder what this one will be. I'm thinking maybe a fight. Maybe a puzzle, but I'm thinking maybe a fight. I'll be the most surprised if it's one of those ones where it says, You have done well to make your way here. Oh, looks like a puzzle. Hmm. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Shada no. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Red giveaway? Red giveaway. So I need to take that ball get it to blow with the wind and I need to pause that I need to do stasis on this platform so probably I should take this and move it over there Like this. Wait, it's not tall enough to just run over this, is it? Nah, it's too short. However, this. <laughs> that didn't drop on me. The ball should. Uh, maybe. Okay, so my thought is the ball will roll up here, it'll roll over here, but with the wind continuing to push against it, it may push it off. So I think instead, it might be a good idea to move it, like, over here. So the ball will get trapped in the corner. And then when we freeze this, we can move it. Wait. Do I need to do all that? Can I just throw it in there? Why? <laughs> That's hilarious. Huh. Why can't I just... Well, I want to get up there and get that chest, so... Before we go about figuring out how to do this. Get up there then. On this. Oh no. <laughs> I'm about ready to give up on that. On this. There, that's a little easier for me. Hmm. How in the world do I get up there then? You have to glide down from that, but I don't want to do that. If I get up there, I want to stay up there. 
I don't know if there's a weapon or anything that will make it worth it to me at this point in my stream to do work. I'm feeling far too lazy for that. So I think what we would do is, we did this before. We'll go and move this. In a way that locks the hole. Like this. Take the ball, put it like right here. Oops. Maybe not right there. That that will work though. And then We'll go get on the platform, and we'll move the big block so it raises us up. And the ball should fall in. And we get our spirit orb. Although, won't get our chest, but our don't think I care right now. <laughs> I'm not feeling quite as greedy as usual. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think I care that much. Hopefully it's not something great or necessary, but I don't want to go back down there. I just want to finish this mountain region so we can get out of the snow. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Hey! I have a lot of praying to do when I find a goddess statue finally. Look at that. I've got 11. Goodness. May the goddess smile upon you. Alright, just a little bit of mountain. We can do this. We're almost done. A little bit of mountain, and then we can go to a new area. All right, so I think all I have left to do is head over here and look at this part. So let's try it. Hopefully I've got, let me check my potion stash. If I only have one, I might need to make one more. I've got two, 13 and eight. I think we'll be okay, but now we can teleport back here, so. It won't be such a problem if we... I wonder if I can wear my sneaky clothes and get a speed boost for a few minutes while the night lasts. That's a little better. Ice keys. Alright, let's head over there. What's that? Just a random spear in the ground? We don't really need it anyways. Alright, I'm gonna try to glide over there if I can. I should... <laughs> I should go over the peaks and look at everything, but I just well, I'm ready to get out of the snow. It's pretty uncharacteristic of me playing this game. We'll have to take another potion soon. Alright, cool. Get the fox. Just wanna t check out the peaks. Oh look, there's the dragon! Just in case I see a little windmill or something, then we would go over there. So I think this is where- oops! Pretty sure this is where we need to be. Yep. Down here, yep. 
And something called a... What is it called? A stone grove. I fully expect to see some taluses. Talusai? Oh, look. We should go do that. Oh, I was over here already. This is where I saw the frozen one before. Wasn't I? Or maybe it's another of the same area? How did I miss this? Rock Uwog Shrine. Let's go in there and we'll take the potion when we get out. I guess I'll have to look around down here because... Wherever I was when I found that frozen talus, I actually don't think it was over here. I think it was further south... west on the map? I'm sorry, Link. And it was a much smaller area. There were walls all the way, all the way around it, as far as I recall. Ooh, a fire one. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Rok Uwog. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Power of Reach. So... If I... Just hold this thing, but don't activate it, will it still light stuff on fire? No. Well, I don't want to waste it, because it's really good for melting... The, uh... Melting the ice things. So let's just do this. Got that a little close, didn't I? I like my arrows back. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna use fire arrows. I'm too lazy for this. Is that everything? Alright, so that one didn't have anything in it. Oh, I didn't do this one. Huh? Nothing. I'm pretty sure you can't climb those anyways. So there must be another way to get back up there. Alright, let's get ready to fight. I figured you'd be in here. Wow, they're so much easier than they used to be. Should we try the Master Sword? I still haven't used it yet. Let's try it. Pretty good. Um, Let's carry maybe the Edge of Duality. Look at the spear. <laughs> Alright, and what's in here? We've got a crate, we've got some fire, and we've got... A metal block. If we... we could burn the metal block. Huh? Or not the metal one, the wooden block. What's wrong with me? But we could also just do that. Oh. Ooh, got me. Ooh, it's a special one. Uh, let's trade something for that. Like, maybe one of my clubs? Or... Perhaps... Yeah, one of the clubs. Let's trade this one. And I think I figured out that that little sparkle thing... Oops, see this, saw uh, this one's sparkling? I think it means the weapon hasn't been used before. That's my best guess. Let's do this. Really? A barrel doesn't burn? What about this? Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it worked though. It worked. I'm not above it. I should eat something though. Since I've decided I'm not gonna be careful. Bit of a waste. That's alright. What do we get? A 
small key. Wonderful. And where does this go? Will this take us up to where the other chest was? Ah? Ha ha! It's a metal one. We could probably use it for something. Another drill shaft. Um, I don't think I want that. It's only a 14. I do want to take this chest with me, though. In case it's useful for something. I would think the puzzle would be nearly over now? But maybe it's a long one? Nah, it's done. Alright, we did it. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Wonderful. Man, we're really racking them up. That's great. Twelve, I think, now? Gotta find a goddess statue. <laughs> May the goddess smile upon you. People in these mountains, well, there's only two of them, but they don't seem to be particularly religious. Two or three? Two or three? I'm, I can't remember. I either met two or three people up here. I'm still so surprised there wasn't a village anywhere. I really expected there to be one. All right, let me... Sorry, Link. Let's drink a potion real quick before he freezes. Let's get ourselves sorted out here back with normal arrows i think make sure the bow's okay it's fine we've got a durable shield and we're good to go oh wait back to bombs though missed come on Weapon is so slow. I'll just leave you alone if you'll leave me alone. <laughs> Maybe they will. All right, let's see if we can blow this up. Oh, blow these little cuties up. I missed that rock. Come here, cold cutie. Sorry I have to destroy you. Let me look at the map. So no, we haven't been over here before. The one I was at was right here, Cold Snap Hollow. So... we I want to explore all of this area. I can't believe I keep missing, oh my goodness. That's not gonna work either. Here. Let's try this. If this fails, then I don't know what to do. Quite a bit in there. Let's do it again. And then, let's set a fire so... We can see what's in here. Now that I know the Koroks are in there sometimes, I'm terrified to pass them up. Or I guess we could do this, but it takes so long. Maybe we could do both. We set a fire and stand beside it with this thing. Maybe it'll go faster. I can't hold it because I'm inside a block of ice. <laughs> Don't eat the wood. Hello, Kachan! How are you doing today? Oh. 
Nice to see you again. Ooh, a chest. What do we get? A royal bow. Ooh, a durable royal bow. Okay, that was worth it. Alright, I'm gonna go... Oh, if I can. I'm gonna go up here a little bit and see if I can maybe follow the wall and see how far up it goes before it comes to surface. And we'll try to get all of this spooky under area explored. Because I think I did go... No, I didn't go up there. I think I went on this side of the mountain ridge. So, <laughs> let's go look around down here. We'll stick to the wall. And kind of scout it out. Let's see if we see. I wish it wasn't so misty in here. I mean, it's very atmospheric. Don't get me wrong. Very good game design. But <laughs> I would like to see a little more clearly. Here we can pick this up. Looks like there's probably going to be a lot of enemies in here. We'll pick up. Uh, the plants if we can too, because I think we're gonna... What is all this? Is this just snow, or is it like... Maybe it's snow drifts because there's an opening above? Ah, uh, good, you just got home. No more school, no more parents, just games, cats, social media, and anxiety! Woohoo! Everything except the anxiety sounds fabulous! <laughs> what games are you gonna play? Zelda. Heck yeah, dude. You gonna go on another Lionel hunt, or are you done with that for now? Sounds sparkling over here. <laughs> oh, this looked, I thought this was something to blow up. There's a rock cutie down there. Some gems. We can try to get those. I'm probably blow myself up though. Yep. Look at the like, quality of the light change under the. Look at this. Isn't that cool? How purple it gets. Can you say a possible spoiler? I wish you wouldn't. I really don't want any spoilers. Is there any way you can tell me without spoiling it? Alright. Huh, there's a little less down here than it- well, I guess the, um, the shrine was the thing. I don't want to get hit by a giant snowball. This is where I saw them roaming through. Oh, look, I see a cork over there. Um, you're waiting for a cat card so you can stream the something. Stream the something? Are you gonna stream Zelda? I can't believe that worked. <laughs> but that's very exciting. I can't remember. Did you say you already you already stream or not? There they are. That's really hard for me. Oh, I almost got it. Miss. Ugh. There we go. That's a much easier way to do it. Yeah, yeah hi, you found me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm -hmm. 
like to get my arrows back if I can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, there's more gems over there. I'm not so worried about gems. Uh, oh, you saw me! <gasps> Whoops, I didn't want to use that thing. No whistle, Link! You're gonna wake all the monsters up. Uh, we could use this, it only does 10 damage, that's not very good. Uh, I should go check down there. Let's keep going this direction, though. I think we're almost done with this area, which is very exciting. The durability, not the damage. The 10 is the durability? how much damage it did. Well, that's still pretty bad. Either way. Might as well use them up. Get better weapons. Plus those Lizalfos love to hop all over and make it hard to hit them. Heading up. And then I'm hoping one more pass through here should get this area roughly explored. Oh, I run so slowly. It's painful. Alright, here we go. Let's go down this way. Do I have the Master Sword? Uh, yes! I got it, finally! Uh, where it is? Right there. Woohoo! I've only used it once. I hit one Guardian with it, because they were warning me about it getting tired or something, so I got scared, and I've been very... <laughs> I've been very careful not to use it. Alright, let's set a little fire back here. Nope, get off the get off the wall. Link, please, come on. I like climbing too. <laughs> Alright, let's get some wood. Uh it doesn't break. Um I I haven't I didn't really because I haven't really used it. Um I didn't think it broke or got like I I've tried to drop it just to see and I couldn't drop it, so that was a good sign. <laughs> but I've mostly been using other stuff anyways. Come on, melt! <clears throat> oh, maybe there's not anything in this one? I'm hoping for another cork. Come on, come on! Aww. I don't think we're gonna get anything. Hey, there we go. 
Yeah, hi, you found me. Bye. Goodbye. We're so close to getting another weapon slot. That's awesome. All right, is there anything down here? We'll take the Saflina. Anything down here? Oh. Hello there. You're my least favorite. Anything over here? Some animals. seeing much. What's that? Is that a bird? What is that? Oh, it's a piece of amber. Do I want to do the master trails with you? What's that? and a moose. I think we should climb that one. Just in case there's a cork on it. And I think that's about it for this area. Which is great, because I'm really ready to get out of here. Mm, doesn't look like there's going to be a cork up here. Nope. Look at that dark spot in the sky. It's so ominous. Oh, uh, and the Deku tree gives you the sword. He speaks of the master trails. Oh, I think I did them already. Wasn't it? Uh, let's see. Was it some of these things? Maybe we'll be at the bottom. Pilaron, Darling Peaks, Zora's Domain. Is it these? Where you had to like follow the little cork, and then there was one. Um, I can't remember what they all were. Those are them, but not the master trials. Trials. It's is it a multiplayer thing? Come on, melt. Oh, when I get out of here. When I get out of I feel like I'm on the last day of school or like the last day of work before vacation or something of anticipating getting out of this area. When I get out of here, I'm going to drink a speedy potion. I'm going to wear my sneaky clothes at night so I get the speed bonus. And I am going to run like I've never run before. And I'm going to take so much delight in it after being in all this slow snow. Uh, if I go and place a sword back, I should get them. Okay. Um, I probably won't do them this stream. I've already been going for about two hours. But if you see me next time, remind me and I can go and do that. Nothing. Alright, I want to take a quick look around up here on top and make sure I'm not missing anything. And then we can finally leave this place. Maybe I might grab Armando and go. Because he's not too far away from where I'm at right now. Oh no, I didn't have Armando, I have Aurelia. Can I end the stream by starting? Uh, yeah, we could do that. We can definitely do that. Uh, 
Uh, oh, what's this? Little chest? Let's get that. We'll go for a little bit longer. Maybe like 30 more minutes? Balm arrows, very nice. Alright, is there anything else up here? There's another frozen talus, but I don't want to fight it. Yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna call that... Fairly explored, because I don't want to do any more of it. <laughs> it's kind of terrible of me, but I'm so tired of being in the snow. So let's go... maybe we could... I'm gonna go over here next. So, how about we go over here, and we'll resummon a horse, and then we'll ride down here. And we'll see if we can find the tower quickly, we'll activate it. And then we can go end the stream with the Master Trials. And that should get us about, probably like 30 more minutes. Maybe a little more, but sounds like a good plan. All right. Can we get on this person's hey. horse? No. I need to see a dragon. I need to. Okay. I've seen a dragon. Do you want to see a picture of one? Uh. There's an unfounded rumor that there's a dragon who likes to hang out near a sacred spring. Unfounded as of right now, anyway. Huh. Okay. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to Snowfield Stables. If you're planning to head deeper into the snow, I recommend resting in one of our soft beds first. Oh. Anton? If you plan to roam the Hebrew Mountains, you should make some food to help you withstand the extreme cold. Feel free to use my cooking pot outside. Going to a snowy mountain unprepared is an unacceptable for a true adventurer. Okay, good advice. Save these spicy peppers. Ooh, I have some- hello puppy! I have some pepper plants that just sprouted that are going to be able to go in the ground pretty soon. I'm sorry, knocked you down, Beetle. I apologize. Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You get something in return, of course. How about I give you this mighty elixir? Okay, Beetle, it's fine. You can have it. Wow! Thank you so much! You're even more awesome than I thought you were! I will cherish this beetle you have given me for the rest of my days! Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for, or are you selling? Do you have any arrows? No. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the business. Did you need anything else? No, I'm good. There wasn't anyone else in here, was there? I talked to this guy. Moncton. Oh, I haven't sp spoken to her yet. Oh. now, What a cool name! I've just traveled to the east and the west in my great hunt for in information. And now I find myself here in the freezing north. I heard there was a star horse in this area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore. A uh, star horse? Uh -huh. Maybe... It just set off one else's intuition senses. You're interested in the star horse. Star horse too, huh? I just wanted to see this creepy star horse monster once with my own eyes. If it really does exist, it would be such a big scoop. But, well, I can't handle the dangers and hazards of this cold. I can't stand it. Can you handle this task for me? I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture or some notes. Uh, I can do it. Good answer. There's a rumor that it can be found with the star coblins in the north to Bantha snowfield. Some have reported it all the way on the other side of the snowfield to the east, right in front of the bizarre ruins. <laughs> Good luck, I'm really counting on you. <laughs> they gave her kind of a strange voice. Stall horse? Never even heard of such a thing. What did she say? Let me look at that list again. Quanell in the snowfield stable wants to see what a stall horse looks like. 
She's heard that the stall horse appeals in the eastern. Is that the skeleton horse I used to have? It disappeared in the morning and I was so heartbroken about it. She's heard that the stall horse appears in the eastern part of North Tabantha Snowfield. Surrounding some strange ruins. Well, now we have to stay here longer. Dang it! I wanted to leave! <laughs> Beetle, put some clothes on, buddy. Varken? Hi. Welcome, welcome to our fine state. Do you want to register a horse? Take one out for a ride? How can I help? Take a horse? Which horse do you want to take out? Aurelia? Oh. You want an Aurelia, right? Mm hmm. Alright, we'll get Aurelia ready for you. Sit tight. Huh? And there you go. Thanks for choosing us for all your horsey needs. Yeah. Your horse will naturally follow the path. Alright, Aurelia, let's go see this stock horse. The North Tabantha Snowfields, she said. South Tabantha's North Tabantha Snowfields. Let's go, Aurelia! Ooh, I'm scared to take her up here because... Ah, shoot! Last time I was up there, there were a bunch of... I'm gonna leave her here. There were a bunch of mounted bokoblin. I took one of their horses, and then they killed the horse! And I don't want the horse fairy to get mad at me, and I also don't want my horses to die. So I'm gonna leave Aurelia and go take a look on foot. As slow and frustrating as that is. Tabantha Snowfield, she said. Bye. Some strange ruins. Would that be this? Labyrinth? Are there ruins up here? I don't think I saw any ruins up here. Hmm. That's the South Tabantha Snowfield. Hmm. Well, maybe we won't get out of here. We will still end it with the trials you requested, though. Let's go pick up this rock. Maybe they're over this edge? I think someone said there were ruins in this pit. Uh-oh, my cold potion ran out. And that's okay, because I think we have one left. Uh-oh, do we not? Yeah, we have one left. So that will be okay. Let's see if we see any ruins down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone said there were ruins down here. But maybe not. Let me see. Maybe there's like higher elevation over here? Whoa. Is there something down there? Looks like a river. Sorry, little fox. Hmm. I know, you don't like me being over here. I just think I see clouds down there. There's a dragon. I swear somebody said there was something down here, though. Unless I'm wrong. Is that a place you can get into? Doesn't look like you can blow it up. Hmm. 
Mm-mm, you can't. Hmm. But it really looks like there's ground over there. Doesn't it? It sure looks like ground to me. <laughs> oh dear. Well then. Hmm. Let me eat something. Let's have a few apples. Ah, uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. By strange ruins. Unless she means these are ruins, but I doubt it. And north to Bantha Snowfield. Hmm. Or was it down here? Nah, that wouldn't be the north to Bantha Snowfield. Maybe in here, where it's like a higher elevation? Mmm, I don't know. Uh oh, whoops! <laughs> I need to do that. If I don't let go, will it let me go down there? Let's try it one more time. Just glide over to where it looks like there's stone. And see if he goes, Wah! Or if he gently lands on the stone. This will be the last time I make him jump in this pit, for now. Because there's clearly four. And I should have enough stamina to get down there. But I think the game just doesn't want you to go down here. Yeah, okay. Well then... I'll quit making him jump in the pit. Unless I do it by accident. And we'll take a quick look around for some ruins. I bet up here? I think so. Come on, you can make it! There we go. Uh, there's a Korok over there, so it looks like I have been up here. Maybe the skulls are strange ruins? I don't know. But it's probably too late in the day to see a skeleton horse, because mine disappeared at night. Come on! Is that a snow rock, cutie? Nah, it's just a rock. Oh lord, there's a Lionel over there. Scary, scary. Oh, a rupee. We'll take that. Well, I'm not sure where she wants us to go. So I might leave. We could come back another time. And we're not likely to see a stall anything in the morning. I wanna ride you. No! Someday, if it's possible, I'm gonna ride that rhinoceros. And the bear, and the moose, and the deer, and everything else. There's a dragon. Hmm. Let's check out these skulls. There was a blood moon, so they should be full again. And then I guess if it's not in there, maybe we'll leave. He's like, look, this is so open. If there were ruins, we should be able to see them. And the fact that she said they're strange ruins? That could be a giant skull. I don't know, when I think of ruins, I think of something man-made, but... Uh... 
Uh oh. That guy comes for me, I might just teleport out. Oh, hey, look! I guess I haven't been in here before. A kite shield? I've never seen that before. Rita warriors cherish this shield. Its unique shape is designed with mid-battle flight in mind to facilitate aerial combat. Cool, let's take it. It's worse than my other shields, but... Let's get rid of this one. Since it's the only one I've ever seen, I would like to try it. And it has increased our ability, which is great. Hey! <laughs> Um, let's use the ice spear. They're gonna get me. Oops, I thought I had bombs. I can't believe they didn't get me with the arrows. <laughs> Let's go look in here, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave these guys to their... ...horsing around. Uh-oh. That's one reason why spears are great. Alright, well... I don't think... That this is working out for me in terms of finding ruins for that lady. So let's go back to the original plan. And actually, let's just teleport. We'll grab Aurelia and do what I originally wanted to do. We'll go try to find the tower and then we'll end back at the Great Deku Tree. And if we don't find the tower quickly, we'll do that in the following stream. That might be it right there, actually. Maybe we should just go on foot. Is that the right direction? Um... Yeah, let's go on foot. It doesn't look that far away. Then it also doesn't look like we can get a horse up there. We have five more minutes of cold resistance, so let's see if we can make it. Probably should have picked my horse back up. Can I have some whistle for her from here? <gasps> she can hear me! That's wonderful news! Come on, Aurelia. Come get me. Is she coming? I think she will come to me if I keep running away from her. And I keep seeing this weird mist. I tried to go get that one day, but I couldn't get there, but it disappeared by the time I arrived. Hello, dude. Hello, beautiful Aurelia. Good girl. Let's go. But I bailed on the weird light because I figured once we get over to that area, we will find it anyways. Oh no, so I was seeing the same tower as before. Um, we'll have to leave her, I think, because I didn't, as far as I recall, I think there's not a gentle slope down from here that I saw. I think it's like a harsh drop cliff. But, that's okay. She helps us anyways. Go quite a bit faster than we could without her. 
that looks like the tower we're supposed to go to, maybe. Saw just a glimpse in the distance over there. We'll be like roughly here, I think. Whoops. And these are some ruins, but they're not in the snowfield at all. They're way far south. Alright, Aurelia, be careful. Just run, 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 run. Alright, I'll see if I can get her over here. I will. Juniper, hush mama, it's okay. Ah, uh -uh, come here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Juniper, calm down, mamas. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, what's wrong with you? Come here, you're okay. Wonder if we got a delivery. My dog is grumbling on the floor. I see a shrine over here, too. It's okay, Babu, but I might ignore that for now, even if we run right past it. Because I'd love to activate the tower before in the stream. Oh my gosh. That's pretty scary. But look, we're out of the snow. It's so wonderful. back and do this fight too. There's another stable. Good to know. Uh, where was that shrine at? I thought it was over here somewhere. I don't like these peppers. <laughs> that was a pretty cool dismount link. Let's go down there. Oh, this is so cool. I'm not gonna explore that today. Rito stable. I also don't really want to talk to these people today. I'd rather come back when we're going to actually explore the area. So where is the tower? Over there. That is the tower for this area. Let's see if we can keep taking the path over there, we will. Ooh, this is a beautiful place. Don't hit my horse. Don't do it. So she might be able to take me most of the way there. Huh. Ooh, I really like this area. This is much nicer for me than the snow. Huh. I think it was over there. Unless this path takes a left pretty soon, I'm gonna have to get off of her yeah. and go on foot. What's that? That's something. Oh, it's a Hinox. <laughs> yeah. It looked like a black colored skull instead of the bone colored ones. Yeah. Not even black, it looked like the kind of dark red that salamanders often are. Alright, can she take me through this way? Or is it just going to end in a cliff? I don't see where I thought the tower was anymore, which makes me think maybe it was a lot farther away than I thought. Let's go take a look. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Look at those cool red mountains, plateaus. Ugh, gorgeous. Where the heck was the tower? Hmm. Hey, Aurelia. You're a good girl. Oops, sorry. 
can do it. Come on. Maybe it was further down the main path. I don't think so. I feel like it was back there. It is. Look. Alright. Let's have her take us back over there. A little bit. And now get off and climb the mountain. Maybe like right there? Is this a path? Watch out, little wolf. Let's see if she can go up here. She might be able to. Getting a little bit steep. Definitely have to resummon her because I doubt if I'll find her again up in the mountains. It's not where I would think to look for a horse. All right, nice. Okay, so how are we gonna get over there? Thank you, Aurelia. You're a good girl. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. This looks like that Ganon gunk stuff. The purple ooze. I feel like we should put on climbing clothes too. Let's do that. Here are some ruins. I wouldn't say they're strange ones, though. A lot of monsters to fight later. Alright. As per usual, let's see if we can avoid all the challenge of this and just sneak our way up there. Oh, look. What's this? Oh my goodness. Cutting it a little close there, Link. <laughs> I say like it's his fault. I'm the one who did it. What's that noise? It sounds like thunder, but it's the weather thinks it's gonna be sunny. Alright, this is gonna be a little challenging to get into. Maybe it's the purple stuff making that noise? Like a grumbling noise. Chabantha Tower. I guess I should have checked whether there was a way up before I jumped up here. Looks like maybe there isn't. Can I jump past this? Hey, I can. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to do that, but I did it. Alright, let's drop here and get some stamina back. And then let's see if we can just jump straight up to the top. Ooh, we got cold. Here we go. Sorry, Link. Sheikah Tower activated. Whoa. So beautiful. Hey, Juno.
scanning area. Come here. Come here. Wanna come up? Regional map extracted. Sorry, Link. All right, let's take a look at the map real quick. Ooh, okay. So we may do what we've been doing and go south to north. Juniper, come as mamas. Goofy dog, Strock Lake, Passer Hill, Lake Totori, the Hebra Plunge. All right. So this, like Kilski and this summit right here, we already did. Ouch, you're hurting me, mamas. So next stream, we will come explore this area, which looks to be a smaller area than the Hebra area we just unlocked. So hopefully we can do it a little faster. Which is not that I want to rush through this game or anything, because I don't <laughs> want to keep going. Um, and let's go back to... Whoops. Let's go back to the Deku tree. Sorry, Link. And do the thing that Kachan asked us to do. And then we're going to end the stream. And I don't think I'll be back tomorrow, but the day after I should be back. Tomorrow I'll probably take off from streaming. Alright, here we go. You ready, Kachan? Oh, you know what? Before we do this, let's go talk to Hestu and see if we can get another inventory slot. I think we might be like one or two short. Shaka, come on! If you return my lost core exceeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Which stash do you want another slot in? Weapon stash. Sure, okay, I'll just need 45 core exceeds, deal? Oh, I can't do it yet, but I'll be back in a little bit. Do you want me to expand a different stash? Not right now, but I'll be back. Shaka! Uh, how sad. Don't worry, Hestu, I'll be back. I just don't have enough stuff for you yet. Alright, here we go. Take the Silent Princess. And... Here we go, Kachan! Uh... I'm not sure what to do. Uh, <laughs> is it, in, it wasn't there, right? I'm not sure if I can do it yet, not, or not, Kachan. I don't have the DLC yet, no. Sorry, dude, I tried. Um, I'm planning on getting the DLC after I beat the main game. But let's go back to the tower. And then in the next stream, we will go explore the new region. What's it called? I'm not sure. I'll check the map. So I know what to call it. If it has a name. Panther region, maybe? Where Link is cold. The Tabantha Frontier. So we'll go check this out next time. Looks like there's a lot of fun stuff to explore. These little trees over here. We've got some fighting over here. Some trees over here. Looks like we've got ruins to look at. I'm hoping there will be a village, but that... Um, Oh yeah, I think there's probably the Rito village up here. And the stable we passed up like it had lots of people in it to talk to. So that will be fun and exciting. 
And with that, let's get a little save in here. And let's get some music on to end out. Kashan, I hope you really enjoy your day of gaming and freedom. Sounds like fun. Alright, let's see if this is a nice song. I don't like that one. Let's try this one. We'll go with this. Seems chill. Alright, that's gonna do it for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this. If you'd like to check out the VODs, they are going up and the YouTube channel is on the end card. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!